welcome to bsc statistics student in this class i explain uh, one of the problem on structural changes due to the deletion of a variable deletion of a variable in the post optimal analysis see this is the given uh, problem maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 5x3 so and constant these are the constants and x1 x2 x3 grad one is equal to right <coughs> this is what the linear programming problem is given in given to us now the question number three is refer the question number three here the third question if the variable x2 is deleted from the lpp then obtain a uh, an optimum solution of the resulting linear programming problem this is what the question the third question uh, in in this question uh, what is given here the variable x2 that is uh, the one of the variable in the given linear programming problem the existing variable right it is going to be if it is deleted from the lpp then up, how to obtain the optimum solution then uh, you see here first of all you have to calculate uh, the given uh, uh, linear for the given linear programming problem you have to calculate uh, uh, an optimum solution find out an optimum solution and write down the final optimum simplex table uh, my dear friends you have to calculate the uh, optimum solution by using any one of the method by using simplex method by using simplex method you have to uh, obtain or calculate the optimum solution this is what the final optimum simplex table what i am showing here is final optimum simplex table that is after attaining the optimum solution this is what the final simplex table that is equal to this y2 y3 y6 are in the um, basis uh, and xb is given here okay all net evaluations are greater than or equal to zero etc you can observe here capital b is this from the given lpp this is b inverse this is cb uh, this is b inverse this is cb etc now by taking this uh, the x2 is the variable is deleted if the variable x2 is deleted then what we have to see we have to observe first of all whether x2 is a basic variable or non basic variable you see first of all the y2 corresponding to x2 the vector is y2 the y2 is in the basis therefore we are doing one of the case that y2 that is x2 is in the basic basic uh, it is a basic variable it is in the basis you see here the third question what i am explaining here this is what the third question is it clear right the variable x2 is deleted from the lpp that is what we are seeing the x2 is a basic variable just now i have shown you uh, in the um, first simplex that is uh, final simplex table that is called uh, now we take the uh, to solve the problem we consider that and uh, hence uh, in this case what we have to do if x2 belongs to basis x2 is a basic variable then what we have to do we have to assign a cost minus m to x2 in the final optimum simplex table okay and as you have to consider as a first simplex table of our solution of new linear programming problem by taking this particular uh, uh, one change that is x2 the variable is going to be deleted whichever the deleted variable for x2 that for which you have to assign a cost minus m assign a cost minus m so therefore by assigning the cost minus m in the simplex table that is y so you see here y2 corresponding cost cb minus m y2 y1 y2 and so on y2 corresponding cost is minus m that is the first change you have to made from the uh, to the final optimum simplex table to the final optimum simplex table you have to change y2 cost as minus m that is the first thing we have to do after that you have to calculate as usual calculations that is you have to calculate z 100 into minus m cb xb minus m into 100 minus 100 m 5 into 230 plus 0 into 20 1150 like and ZJ minus CJ, you have to calculate all ZJ minus CJ net evaluations. And uh, we have to observe, we have to go as usual procedure, the simplex procedure or big M method, which are called usual simplex procedures. Now, 
one of the net evaluation is negative that is minus m by 2 corresponding to y4 therefore y4 uh, enters into the basis and y2 whether it is going to be now you see uh, you calculate uh, as usual procedure 100 by the two calculate to identify which particular vector is going to leave the basis uh, 100 by 1 by 2 230 by 0 we cannot consider 20 by minus 2 we cannot consider these are the two values we cannot we cannot consider because uh, minimum of x b i by y i r y i r greater than 0 it must be greater than 0 1 by 2 it is not uh, uh, minus it is plus plus 1 by 2 right from the simplex table you have considered the last simplex table this is the first simplex table of our procedure so uh, this is uh, 100 by 1 by 2 1 by 2 is the pivot element corresponding vector is y2 therefore y2 uh, leaves the basis y4 enters y2 leaves and 1 by 2 is the pivot element and then uh, we have to consider uh, we have to calculate uh, we have to convert uh, 1 by 2 the leading element pivot element to unity remaining all other elements zeros as usual simplex procedure right if you do that uh, with relevant row operations that is what uh, the what are the row operations here r1 dash to, is to r1 it is to r1 that is to make this one as 1 multiply with 2 2 into r1 you will get uh, this is 1 this is already 0 therefore r2 dash is r2 r3 r3 dash that is the next row in the next simplex table r3 dash for which you have to multiply with 2 that is 2 into r1 dash plus r1, r3 r3 dash is equal to 2 r1 dash plus r3 so therefore uh, by doing the relevant row operations uh, we have to calculate the uh, the rows r1 dash r2 dash r3 dash in the next simplex table that is simplex table 2 now we got this these are the calculations and uh, do the calculations with the help of the row operations and uh, and then you have to calculate again z y2 uh, leaves uh, and y4 enters so y4 enters y3 and y6 so therefore with the help of the remaining uh, calculations uh, we have to calculate that is we have to calculate z z is equal to cb xb we have to calculate z z is the value 1150 and uh, and thereafter uh, uh, we have to calculate uh, uh, and then we have to calculate ZJ minus CJ net evaluations. These are the net evaluations. We know how to calculate the net evaluation ZJ minus CJ. So these are the net evaluations. All net evaluations are which are uh, uh, greater than or equal to 0. And no consideration like this. No. Uh, all net evaluations are greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, uh, the current solution is optimum solution. We got the optimum solution now. Hope you understand, right? So therefore, maximize that is equal to 1150, 1150 and x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to uh, 0, x3 is equal to, x2 is not there in the scene because x2 is deleted, x3 is equal to 230. So for example, uh, here itself I am specifying that if a non-basic variable is deleted, then optimum solution will not be affected because it is a basic variable x2 is a basic is in the basis is a basic variable then only changes uh, um, uh, took place otherwise uh, optimum solution will not be affected that is if the non basic variable is deleted then uh, optimum solution will not be affected that's very simple you can write in one line right so uh, if the basic variable is deleted you have to do this particular procedure if the non basic variable is deleted then no particular problem exactly the optimum solution remains same will not be affected hope you understand this is what the procedure of deletion of a variable a particular in the origin in the original lpp if a variable one particular variable is deleted existing variable is deleted then this is the procedure thank you thank you very much